today we have a segment for National Queso Day. A stand-up on homecoming shirts. Mr. McAllister and his first A story on the museum curator class. And a segment of social media. Hey Vikes, I'm Jessica. And I'm Morgan, and you're watching SVT. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. St. Francis Campus is starting a medical explorer class that begins Monday, September 23rd from 7 to 8.30 p.m. It's for students 15 years old and up. All outside date forms are due Tuesday. If you still need a form, pick one up in the front office. The themes for Spirit Week are I Woke Up Like This on Monday, Visco for Tuesday, Class Colors for Wednesday, America for Thursday, and Decade Day on Friday. Shirts will be on sale starting next week. Here's Allie with more. Hey Bikes, I'm here with Alyssa Flower to talk about these homecoming shirts. So when are they going to be on sale? We are going to start selling shirts on Monday and they will be on sale all next week. So make sure you come grab one at lunch. They'll be available all three lunches. Awesome. How much are they? They are $15 and they'll be your ticket into the dance so you don't have to pay your entrance. So obviously I'm wearing a 50s shirt, but what other decades are there? Um, well, we obviously have the 50s, adorable. Um, we have 60s and 90s and Riley Poulter was gracious enough to make all of them. Um, they're all in black, so everybody will have the same color, but we have the bright colorful designs this year. Awesome. Make sure and get one next week. Now back to your anchors. Don't forget to buy your shirt. It also counts as your ticket. Visit the high school office to register for the ACT Power Prep course. Registration and payment is due by October 18th. Art and youth volunteers are needed on the last Monday of the month from 5.15 to 6.45 p.m. Check Schoology for more information. Mr. McAllister and his first hour class are doing something a little different this year. Let's go check it out. Mr. McAllister and his first hour class are helping out with the museum. It's called Museum Studies and essentially it's a small group of students who are managing uh, the historical archives of the Seaman School District as well as the museum itself. So the physical archives as well or artifacts, physical artifacts of the, the museum, uh, the paper material, the ephemera, the the hats, the clothes, everything that's associated with the archives and the museum, they are essentially managing. At least that's the, that is the intent of the class. This is brand new, so we're still trying to feel our way through everything. We go out to the Seaman Museum because it's um, all a mess and we help, we're going to categorize everything in there, get everything organized and kind of make it look more like a museum because right now it's just, there's boxes everywhere, stuff piled in it, there, it's not properly put together anything so we're doing that and then we're also going to go visit other museums to um, kind of see what other people do. Last week we went to the Kansas History Museum and we kind of learned how to catalog correctly and so we're just getting the experience of making our own museum basically. Along with going to other museums they have also created an exhibit here at Seaman High School. The museum itself is housed in the district office. It's in two rooms on the third floor very, very close to the Human Resources Office. So one room is essentially display only. The other room is more set up kind of as a, an old classroom. There's also a replica bank in there. And then the, uh, the exhibit space that we have beyond that is here in the high school up by uh, the Freshman Commons and Mr. LaDuke's classroom. The benefit, I would say, is just to preserve the Siemens history. I, I think it's a great project um, and I think this is a great class I hope it continues but uh, we'll, we'll see it's gonna take it's, it's quite a bit of effort that is going into this and uh, I hope that students will sign up for this class next year. A workshop will be held on Wednesday October 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the KBI Forensic Science Building at Washburn University. Here's a few quick announcements. Interact Club's annual Sleep in a Box event is October 5th. See Collins for more information. The Viking Brew is taking applications for new members. See Ms. Schaefer for applications. And today, FCCLA is selling cinnamon rolls between passing period and kelp in E14 for $2. We asked you to send in pictures from the blackout game last week. Let's go see what you sent in.
Hello Vikes, here's your brief social media update. We asked you to send in your pictures from our game at Hayden. The theme was blackout and we got a ton of pictures. Features are Kaylin McClenney and Chase Morstoff. Next week is a big week, it's homecoming week, so we want to see your homecoming proposals and your homecoming outfits. It's also spirit week, Monday is pajama day, so make sure to send us your pictures if you want to get featured. Have a good week, Vikes. Make sure to send in pictures from the homecoming game. Over to Morgan for sports after this quick commercial break. Man, I am having so much fun at the bonfire. Did you know there's a kickball classic going on Sunday, September 29th, 2019 at the Seaman Middle School football field. There's a complimentary luncheon at 1 o'clock. See Coach Kelly in C3. The team consists of 8 to 12 members, and it's $80 per game. Hope to see you there, because it's going to be a blast. Monday is I Woke Up Like This Day. Tuesday is Visco, and I oops. Ks, ks. Wednesday, wear your class colors. Thursday is America Day. America. America. Frick. Yeah. And on Friday, wear decades. All school dress code still applies. The girls' tennis team took first in the Spring Hill Tennis Tournament on Tuesday. Congratulations, Lady Vikes! The wrestling team will be hosting a kickball classic on Sunday, September 29th at the Middle School football field. Cost is $80 per team. The Winter Sports Conditioning Program began Monday. See Coach Cox, Tinsley, or Kelly for more information. Now let's head on over to Jessica to see what the rain changes are for this weekend. Right now it is 83 degrees with the chance of thunderstorms for the rest of the day. And for your three day forecast, Sunday is going to be 72 and Monday is going to be 79. Back to our anchors for the rest of the announcement. Today is National Queso Day and we had a cheese inspired competition between two of our teachers. Let's go check it out. Everyone loves their queso, and on September 20th, it is National Queso Day. We decided to test your favorite history teachers on their cheese knowledge. And the loser has to drink some queso. Cheddar! cheddar. Yeah. Oh! oh! No, it's Vermont oh! cheddar. <laughs> Vermont cheddar. <laughs> okay, he's Ready? cheating. Oh, he gets oh. to see it faster. Oh! Gouda! It's... I think he did. Oh. I did. There's he Gouda. Did? Yeah. Swiss! Oh my gosh, you, you, you say it. You say it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he always hits it first and then you say it anyways. Okay. You're, you're cheating. <laughs> you're cheating. Colby Jack. Who slapped it? I say Fox. Fox. You what? Cheater. American. I was going to say horrible. Terrible. No, <laughs> it, it has the least calories. I have no idea. Uh, Pepper uh, Jack. Fox. Round. Round. Provolone. Yeah. That's, that's Italian. Italian. Mozzarella. There. That is not mozzarella. That's, that's, that's mozzarella? Look, it doesn't look like mozzarella, but it doesn't look like I'll mozzarella. Take, I'll take it. Uh, whatever. I'll take it. You lost. I think I'm beating you, actually. God. Gorgonzola. Blue cheese. Ah, yeah. uh, what? Yeah. Let's go. 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 let yeah. God, ah, no! Ah. Cheese, I'm gonna cheese, win. cheese, cheese, cheese. Yeah, macaroni, macaroni and cheese! Kraft. Ah. <laughs> Kraft macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that was bought. Kraft. <laughs> Ew. 
Here we go. Did you get that? Looks like Bach really knows his cheese. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Next week, we'll learn more about our homecoming candidates. Have a great weekend. I hate this chicken.